Hey guys, this video is going to be a book review of The Truth About Forever by Sarah Dessen. I didn't know too much about this book before I read it, but I'd heard a lot of good things about the author as a YA writer, so I was pretty interested to give it a read. The Truth About Forever follows Macy Queen, a high school student whose final year is coming soon. But first, she has to deal with the summer. Her too perfect for her boyfriend, Jason, is away at brain camp, and she's taking over his job at the information desk in the library. And the only other significant thing in her life at this point is joining her mother in not grieving her father properly. What I mean by that is that neither her nor her mother are actually grieving over her father. They are not talking about it. They are pushing it aside, not dealing with it at all. Especially Macy, as she was the one to discover that her father is dead as she was catching up to him on their morning run. Since Macy's mother is now in sole control of the family's housing company, she often holds viewing parties at their home. At the first one of the summer, Macy ends up meeting the catering team, a family business called Wish, run by Delia, her nephews Wes and Bert, and employees Christy and Monica. Wish runs a rather chaotic ship, but they get the job done every single time. Macy actually finds herself liking all of them, and after having a stressful couple of days with the library job being really not good, and after wishing for some comfort from her boyfriend Jason, he ends up pulling away from her, she ends up finding them and helping them out and getting a part-time job with them. For the rest of the summer, Macy grows closer and closer with the Wish team, especially Wes, who is in a bit of a similar place relationship-wise to her. All the while, Macy's older sister Caroline, who grieved their father in a more usual way, and who got married and graduated university fairly quickly after the death, is also putting pressure on Macy's mother to remodel their old beach house that they haven't been to since their dad's death. Working with Wish, Macy is really starting to enjoy her life, even as it becomes less and less perfect every day. But will it stay that way? I really quite enjoyed this book, though, in fact, I was prepared not to. I got it at the Longside book sale, and when I read the synopsis at home, I was like, oh, this is more stereotypically YA than I expected especially with that possible love triangle. But then I read it and it definitely wasn't nearly as stereotypical as I thought it was. Though it did bear some resemblance to John Green's books, which may explain partially why I liked it so much. So I'm just going to quickly map some of the central themes of this book out for you. Perfection, or perhaps more likely, the lack of perfection. Grief and working through it. Problems arising, but solutions being harder to find. Idealising, but not respecting other people and their choices. Some pretty good and interesting themes there. In particular, I felt that the most major one was probably the perfection theme. It was definitely brought up quite a lot. Jason was repeatedly described as being perfect, and Macy really thought of herself a lot as imperfect, especially in a negative way towards the beginning. The main message was definitely that trying not to make mistakes, to be perfect in everything, is a mistake in itself. Life is messy, it's never going to run smoothly, and it's wrong to think that you can completely control it. And I really felt that the book did quite a good job of showing this, even if J.K. Rowling said it better. I also found it quite interesting how there are some parallels between Macy's relationship with Wes and Macy's relationship with her father. Like, there are some interesting dynamics of parallels between the two, especially towards the end. It was an interesting dynamic, that's that's all I'm saying. Finally, I felt that it was a bit strange that there was no remarks made about the difference in situation between Macy's rather rich family and the working class rather poor situation that the Wish team was mainly in. The difference was quite disparate and it made me feel like Macy was a bit privileged and didn't really understand what her co-workers and friends were going through in quite... It made me feel a bit uneasy that she was never sort of called out upon this, but yeah, I think I might have spent a bit too much time on Tumblr, to be honest. So overall, I quite enjoyed this book. It was good at talking about the messiness of life in an honest and realistic way. 
even if it did have some specific failures in specific areas. Have you read this book? What did you think of it? Did I miss anything out, or did you feel that I didn't pay enough attention to anything that you felt was particularly important? Tell me in the comments below. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you remember to like and share it and subscribe to my channel. Click on the thumbnails above to see other videos by me including my veto playlist where I'm vlogging every day in October and my unboxing of October's Loot Crate with the theme of time. Bye.